The former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, has made a public presentation of his new book titled The Art of Leading, Unconventional Wisdom from Biblical Leaders in Abeokuta, the Ogun State Capital. In his remarks at the lunch held at the Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library in Maki, Obasanjo noted that leadership was so important, stressing that without it, Africa can go fast and move far together. Also, the Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Sokoto, Hassan Kuko, said leaders have to be obedient as well as instill values in the discharge of their duties. Bishop Kuka himself put it in his note to me. If leadership is so determinant and all encompassing, how should man look for it? acquire it, master it, and utilize it for the purpose for which the Creator has created man. We have example in the Bible, and that is the answer to that question, the biblical example. And that's what the book is all about. Leadership is so important. Leadership is a sacred trust, and leaders must seek divine guidance and wisdom as they make decisions that affect the lives of the people they lead. The biblical stories in this book should serve as a powerful reminder of the significance of leaders being connected to a higher purpose and seeking the counsel of God in decision making. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, it is easy for leaders to become overwhelmed by the demands of their roles. However, where leaders are rooted in their faith and walk in the footsteps of God, their maker, they can find strength, clarity and direction in their decision making duties. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders led by God are more likely to embody values such as humility, empathy, and integrity, which are essential for effective leadership. To our Christians, you need to answer one critical question. And listen very carefully. Are you a Christian who is a politician, or are you a politician who is a Christian? They're two different things. Are you a Christian who is a politician, or are you a politician who is a Christian? All right? If you are a Christian who is a politician, then you will bring Christian values into politics. But if you are a politician who is a Christian, then you are likely to contaminate the word of God with the, with, with the vagaries of politics. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.